morning, gentlemen. Jim Tracy, Land Use Council for Treasure Materials. Uh, glad you've had an opportunity to meet fine folks from Miles Sand and Gravel this morning. I just have a couple of quick things for you. And by the way, happy Father's Day to everybody. I hope yours is as good as mine. There are two letters uh, in the correspondence packet today. Uh, one is from Robert and Sheila Pesanko, and the other is from Scotty and Carol McComb, both, uh, I believe, Fort Level residents. Uh, each of them asserts that the shoreline plan currently under consideration will affect or impact the Pit to Pier project application, which, as you know, is vested to the plans and regulations that were in effect at the time the fully completed application was submitted. This sounds to me like the possible possibility of a real red herring issue being introduced into your consideration of the of the uh, recommended shoreline master program when it gets on your desk. And I would ask that you uh, might want to consider, and I don't have a good recommendation for you about the, the methodology, but you might want to consider trying to inform people that their opportunity to comment on the peer project is in the hearing examiner process and, and whatever subsequent appeals there may be to that hearing examiner decision. Uh, but not in the, in the shoreline master program. This is one of the one of those things that <coughs> can unnecessarily confound the other issues that you're going to have to be faced with. And that's really all I have this morning. Thank you.